so my son's grassroots football coach Darren Parkinson works for the Trust and after most games Darren and I would have a, a conversation about what the charity do and um, the more he told me about it the more I, I knew I had to get involved and, and just help so the Trust from Darren's perspective told me that they, um, they help all age groups uh, they have support groups for various causes uh, dependency um, they've got veterans groups uh, cancer support groups pensioners groups they help in schools you know the list is varied so um, I would encourage people to go and have a look on the Chesterfield FC Community Trust's website just to see you know the variety and the diverse sort of things that they do for the community. Well, I've spent the last 14 years fundraising. It's something I'm incredibly passionate about and we've raised over £300,000, which has made a significant difference to a lot of local charities. Um, from a business viewpoint, you know, I'm an owner. Um, I have available resources and of course, you know, if you're in that position, you should do what you can to help the community, you know, and I think we do that, a lot of other local businesses do that, but it'd be nice to get a few more on board that equally understand what the Chesterfield FC Community Trust do and, and how they could get involved to help. I recently was invited by the Trust to their Camp Inspire. Um, this hit me quite hard. Um, the Trust delivers a program aimed at vulnerable children. Uh, it runs during the school holidays and it allows children to attend a camp in a safe environment. Um, they engage in various activities and they're given a warm meal and a, a safe environment for the day. Um, the children can range in needs from one to one um, or in various small groups. Um, when I attended there were 46 members of the CFC team and volunteers. They were looking after approximately 130 children. Um, there were more, hundreds more that wanted to attend and couldn't because there just isn't the funding in place. Um, when you look at the difference that this camp makes um, to these kids, you know, you, it's a real, you really understand the situation that's on your doorstep. It's, um, it's heartbreaking to know that children that live less than two miles away from the football club are in the top 1% of austerity in the UK. Um, situations where they can't afford to eat on a daily basis and shower on a daily basis and that's why I'm now committed to helping the Trust and just hoping that we raise awareness and this will encourage more local businesses to get involved. Everybody that hears this conversation has something that they can give to help the local community. Um, it doesn't have to be a financial contribution, you know, a person with a van can help deliver hampers at Christmas. Um, local shops can give near end of food, end of life food, you know, to uh, and it can be distributed to the right people. Um, we could all volunteer a few hours for Camp Inspire, not necessarily with the kids, but, you know, helping tidy the school up afterwards. Um, there are so many, so many ways that people can help. Corporate donations, a small uh, personal donation, and item that we can auction or raffle at our charity event. Um, the charity offices are looking tired, they need a coat of paint, they need new LED lighting because the cost of you know electricity at the moment is huge so you know anything like that could be something that small companies could help with or large companies could help with and you know to do everything that the trust is trying to achieve is a mammoth task I understand that but break that down into a series of small actions you know and that individuals and local businesses can help with and it's a much more achievable goal and it'll really benefit the lives of so many people on our doorstep that just need help. I suppose our main event is our annual black tie charity event. Um, that raises the majority of the money through our fundraising and last year it was about 20,000. So that's currently been distributed throughout the, the Trust's activities. Um, we've also got this year's event now booked. So um, that's on the 22nd of November. So people can you know, get in touch. We've got tickets for sale for that. Um, help us out with auction items, raffle items, something like that. Something Because anything that we have of value that we can get rid of on the night that's been donated makes 100% profit for the charity. So um, as well as the charity event, we've heavily invested in the corporate hospitality box. Um, 
We've done this because obviously we use it on a match day. We use, um, this could also be used for businesses uh, to rent out in the day. Um, I don't think people will be aware of that, but you know, if you want to get away from your offices for a team meeting, this is a superb place to do it. Um, great space, you're overlooking the pitch. The trust will give you, you know, they'll sort your refreshments out. So, and it's not a huge amount of money to do and it, all the money raised from it goes back into the, into the trust. Um, we, um, we helped out with the Christmas hampers, um, perhaps Molly, um, if I pass over to Molly, Molly could discuss that further because she was instrumental in that. Hi, um, my name's Molly, I work for the Leverton UK team. Um, so last Christmas, myself and another member of the team helped deliver and distribute the hampers to local schools. Um, we actually started by collecting all the food from the local supermarkets. We then brought it back to the football club where we then divided all the items between the hampers. Um, once they were all packaged and ready to go, we then actually delivered them to the schools. Um, this is just a huge example of how um, businesses can get involved and it doesn't actually cost them anything at all. Wherever we can as a business we help um, at the club so when the, the, the trust needs some maintenance items doing you know like of light fitting's gone or a toilet's broken or something I send out one of our team and um, and we don't charge them for it so that leaves the funds then available not on their maintenance budget to be directed more to causes that are you know more needy. Um, and we've donated Easter eggs, Christmas gifts um, and we're just constantly looking to help wherever we can.